that this, um, this will pass. And we are the experts. We know how to handle a chronic illness. It's in some ways, it's much easier to handle an acute illness. For many of us, we've been handling this for years, some of us for decades. So we know what we have to do and what we don't have to do. And the best course for us is to avoid getting the disease. And the guidelines are pretty clear. They're not, they're just, they're exactly the same for us. We just have to do it better. You know, we just have to be extra careful about that. I mean, it's like, you don't have to wear two masks. You just wear a mask. You know, you just, you don't have to not touch your face twice. You just don't touch your face. So we just have to be more careful, but we're also more experienced at, at doing those things. So this, we will get through this and there is lots of good advice out there and there's lots of support out there. Uh, but, you know, it, it's not going to be a smooth path. It, there, I suspect that things will be bumpy, that we may have resurgence of the disease um, in some communities, you know, hot spots that jump up again. And uh, we may find uh, that we thought we may take sometimes two steps forward and three back. And uh, we, we may find that it's kind of a bumpy road. And I don't think that there's a absolute clear path yet for people like ourselves who are more vulnerable in terms of how we're going to be reintegrated into the community. Um, but I think what we need to do is stay together and advocate for ourselves and advocate for each other and be a strong community together. And we will get through this. And uh, like I say, fewer of us are getting this than other people because we're experienced at handling it. So I'm optimistic that this this will pass and that we'll get through it and a larger percentage of all patients will come out the other side than maybe some others.